In this presentation, we will discuss another way of installing fiber optics, which is the micro-trenching. Micro-trenching is the process of installing small conduits within the edges of the sidewalk to house fiber optic cabling. A quick, low-impact deployment method, fiber optic cabling is inserted into a small slot trench without damaging or disrupting existing infrastructure. Conventional trenching techniques include ripping up the road or sidewalk, then the excavation and laying of conduits through which fiber optic cables are fed. This procedure and restoration of the road can be quite costly and has significant impact on the community and environment. Heavy machinery, road closures, extensive labor hours, and weather delays are all common problems associated with conventional trenching. Unlike conventional methods, micro-trenching is an environmental-friendly procedure that is cost-efficient, fast, incurs minimal inconvenience to the community, and procedures aesthetically pleasing end results. Micro-trenching supports positive relations with the affected community and ensures satisfied customers benefiting from the expanded network. Micro-trenching is performed using a saw that looks like a circular saw which can make a trench into either concrete or asphalt. Before we proceed trenching, we should confirm if there are existing shallow facilities beneath the road to where the trench will be done. By conducting a ground penetrating radar or GPR, we could detect existing dock facilities and able to determine how deep these facilities are. Putting up markings on those determined facilities will be a guide by the micro-trenching machine operator which will be avoided. For instance, that a pipeline facility is determined, we can do manual trenching on that affected part to avoid risk of damaging the pipe. Aside from existing pipelines, there are existing metal bars that might broke or damage the saw of the trenching machine. Using metal detectors, we can be able to minimize the risk of damaging the teeth of micro-trenching machine. After confirming existing facilities, we may now proceed the trenching works. Incision of pavement using trenching machine makes some debris thrown away. Covering up safety barricades of the saw may protect the surrounding from flowing away debris. Some micro-trenching machine saw are already equipped with metal coverings, that's why protective barricades are not necessary. Micro-trenching creates noise and dust pollution. It's a must that we need to inform the affected homeowners for the annoyance that may be experienced due to this activity. Dust pollution can be minimized by pouring water on the pressing saw continuously. If able, we may use water tanker to supply ample amount of water when trenching proceeds. For maintenance purposes, regularly check the teeth of the trenching machine so Replace for those damaged bits so that a good trench output is attained. There are scenarios that the micro-trenching machine can't able to sow an area because of existing pipeline facility is present beneath pavement or can make a way to set the machinery on the sidewalk due to insufficient space or obstructions. In that case, manual trenching is necessary using concrete cutter cut the escape trench road. After cutting, use a jackhammer to break the concrete pavement. Manually excavate the trench to avoid risk of heating the existing pipeline facility. Clean the trench after the trenching machine done a length of cut pavement. Excavate some buried debris to meet the prescribed depth. Dispose properly soil and debris. Sweep off the excess debris. Clean thoroughly the trench in preparation for restoration. Safety hazards and warning must be present on the open trench. Since it is risky for those riding bike, it may trip them off and cause accident. For quality assurance, measure the trench if it meets the prescribed depth. On this instance, the prescribed depth is 200 mm and the prescribed width is 60 mm. This is needed for us to lay a two run HDPE pipes with 50 mm diameter each on this trench. When the trench is ready, we may now start the pipe laying. Lay the first HDPE pipe for one span. 
starting from handhold to handhold. Lay the second HDP pipe after laying the first one. Due to the weight of one reel pipe, five or more personnel is needed to lift and lay the pipe. After laying the two runs of duct, we can proceed the trench restoration. Mix a concrete in a ratio of 1 is to 2 is to 3 for cement, gravel, and sand respectively. Pour concrete mixture to fill the trench. Make the top flat until it reaches the pavement level. Clean unnecessary concrete. Use non-penetrating water concrete mixture. This is the restored trench. Protect it with safety hazards until it hardens. The task is complete. After the civil work, we may lay the fiber optic cable underground. We hope that we deliver to you a brief knowledge about micro-trenching methodology. Thank you for watching.